hello beautiful and welcome back to my channel if you're new here hello and welcome my name is Moahib today's video I'm going to be testing the 464 brand new wax that I picked up from Candle Shack and I literally have it right here I have not opened it yet I have not seen it so I don't know how it looks like and I picked up the 800 grams a sample uh, pack because I don't want to buy in bulk and then I end up not liking the wax so I can't wait to just do the first impressions with you guys let me just get this open I also picked up a few bits from Candle Shack I picked up uh, more diffusers and also a three wicked candle jar as you guys know if you haven't seen my previous video I made some candles for my family back home which I'm taking with me on holiday by the time you see this video I am going to be either landing or still on the plane I think I am so excited to see what's in there so this is a little catalog of candle shacks uh, fragrance oils which looks like so I'm just gonna get rid of all the packaging that's inside the box oh my god I see the wax you guys there we go golden wax 464 European 800 grams as you guys can see here let's open it together because I really want to see how it looks like it looks like the s41 as well the way they packaged it oh wow let me smell it no smell and it comes in a block form and I do need a knife for this and some chopping boards which I will get in a little bit but that looks amazing wow it's very shiny you guys let me go grab my chopping board and my knife and start measuring the wax with you guys I'm also gonna go for two 20 centiliter candle containers I am going to burn test these candles with you but obviously it will not be on this video or else that video will be too long and I decided to also go for the TB wicks and also the TCR wicks which I have not tested in a very long time so really excited to see how the brand new 464 um, work with TCR I've got my chopping board and my knife and also my wax I'm going to get to measuring my wax let me actually get my measuring scale up I have my little candle essential box right here and I'm using one fragrance for today I don't want to make it too complicated one fragrance two different wick series and just to see how that goes and also i'm gonna grab my big i think this is one and a half, one and a half liters or two liters worth of a candle jug and place it on my measuring scale let's see how easy that comes out of the okay that was very easy i didn't even finish what i was about to say um and as you guys saw that was so easy to take out of the packaging crystal clear that was so satisfying let's start to measuring oh it is so creamy i barely touched it it's literally so creamy you guys it's like coconut wax after i paid for the waxes i literally got an idea of it'd be so good for me to do a comparison between 464 and also the old 464 but it was already too late because i had paid i just got myself some gloves because it is really creamy so i am going to be measuring 400 and seven grams worth of wax and 33 grams worth of fragrance oil tear your scale as you guys can see here my jug is here and obviously the measuring scale is at the bottom got my wax i'm gonna go ahead and start cutting it up i might need to stand up for this you guys just need a little bit more pressure i am at 407 grams worth of wax what i'll do now is i'm gonna pop it onto my double boiler and wait for it to melt the double boiler today is actually in my kitchen because my mom borrowed my portable stove and the gas ran out so we're ordering some brand new gas but i'll show you how the wax looks like when it's melting and everything whatever access wax i have left i am going to place it back into my box because i don't want to waste any of that wax it costs a lot of money with blocked waxes like rapeseed and coconut um, s41 464 they tend to be very messy you guys so if you are working with blocked waxes i definitely recommend that you get gloves like these or even reusable gloves these are disposable gloves you guys not very environmentally friendly and this is the wax on the stove hello lovelies i'm sorry i'm here there and everywhere today but you're literally in my kitchen and i've got the candle wax melting right behind me you guys can see it right there i don't want to talk to you guys in the living room and completely forget about the wax so at least i'm literally right next to it with a 
thermometer in there and everything but while the wax is melting let me uh, talk to you about the 464 a little bit and i'm reading off the candle shacks website i'll link it down below if you guys want to read as well but the 464 is manufactured in sweden by the wax giant aak this container candle wax offers the same basic formulation as the popular golden wax 464 made in the us but with enhanced performance and i genuinely cannot wait to test the hot throw and the cold throw with you guys i know i'm not using clear jars today i'll try and make a candle with a clear jar and show you guys the glass adhesion but moving on it's crafted from responsibly sourced soybean oil european golden wax 464 is both gmo free vegan friendly and AAK is known for the strong commitment to sustainability, ensures that this wax is produced with the utmost respect for the environment and the people involved. Some highlights about the wax, it's made in Sweden, it's made from soybeans, suitable for candle containers, GMO free, vegan friendly and excellent sun throw, which is what we all want from our candle wax. It also mentioned that it's got excellent glass adhesion, good depth of color, produces shiny tops, can't wait to see that. Smooth surfaces resets in between burn cycles, that's music to my ears, I can't wait to see that either. And reduced likelihood of frosting. And the melting temperature is 70 degrees Celsius. The fragrance temperature is between 65 to 70 degrees Celsius. The pouring temperature is 60 to 70 degrees these are all high temperatures you guys the cooling temperature is between 18 to 25 degrees and that's in your home the curing time is 48 hours the suggested wicks is cl tb which is what we're testing out with and tcr which is what we're testing with as well the suggested fragrance content is between 8 to 10 percent and that is it you guys let's double check the wax shall we here is the wax oh my god it's making my camera blurry but i've got a little bit more to go and i'm at 72 degrees celsius a little bit higher, you guys i might actually turn off the stove and have the boiling water do its magic okay lovelies i'm back in the living room i've got my wax right here and i'm at 60 eight degrees i'm going to start measuring my fragrance oil i've gone for baltic amber and clove 33 grams worth of fragrance I'm literally at 65 degrees you guys this wax is melting pretty fast look at this you guys see five degrees i am ready to pour in my fragrance baltic amber and clove in i'm gonna go ahead and mix for two minutes It smells so, so good. I have finished mixing for two minutes. I'm just taking the temperature of the wax before I actually pour it into my jar. And I've actually gone for TB16 and also two TCL wicks. I'll tell you why I've done two wicks. I'm at 60 degrees. Let's actually start pouring into the jar. good morning everyone my candles have cured down it's been 24 hours give them a trim and you guys they actually look amazing are you ready and this is how they look like look at this sorry let me get rid of that Okay, I'll do without later, sorry. But look how flawless that top is, you guys. The old 464 that's made in America, that doesn't give this top. Look at this top. That's flawless. I don't even need to heat gun it. It reminds me of the results of Soy Luna, you guys. Honestly, just look at this. So creamy. So flawless. This is the other candle. Oh my god. That's impressive. And I genuinely cannot wait to burn test these with you. But you have to wait for the next video. I think I'm actually going to take these two candles with me on holiday and burn test them with you guys in a different setting, which I think would be so cool 
to do for you i'm gonna check how heavy my suitcase is before i put the candles in i do have two suitcases with me so i can put one candle in each suitcase and burn test it with you guys when i go back home and i it's so exciting in a different setting and you guys can see my hometown as well that would be that would be really exciting sorry back to my point earlier so the reason why i decided to do two wicks in my 30 centiliters is because you guys have been struggling to wick the 30 centiliters with one candle with one wick sorry I'm gonna try to see the difference in performance in one wick and two wicks with you guys on camera So when I use one wick in my 30 centiliters you guys it's either too big for my jar that it's burning too fast and when I wick down my my candle starts tunneling and it's, i can't find the middle my 20 centiliters however are so much easier to wick than my 30 centiliters i'm really glad that the 464 actually came on time because i ordered it and i'm like i have to do this video before i leave for my lovely lovely subscribers because i know a few of you have requested it but genuinely my first impressions i felt like it was super easy to work with other than me obviously having to take the wax out of the packaging and having to cut it on my cotton board it is a little bit more messier than it is with pearl wax is it pearl waxes you guys or bead waxes but i know you guys get what i mean so yeah that's the only disadvantage but as in the wax itself um super easy to work with easy instructions on the candle shack website obviously everything comes down to your own testing this video just gives you a rough idea of how my wicks are working my fragrance my wax and all of the above but i hope that i've given you a little bit of idea of how the wax works and obviously with the burn test it'll be a lot more detailed where you guys can actually see how the candle is performing this is just making the candles together and talking about the wax and the details of the wax i'm super excited to go back home you guys and i actually want to show you a little bit of my hometown so stay tuned for future videos i'm very very grateful that my sister has a laptop back home so i can use her laptop and edit no excuses i'm just really excited to show you a little bit of me or a part of me that you guys haven't seen before so so exciting anyway i've rambled with this part of this video thank you for all your support on last week's video if you haven't seen it i'll link it down below even though last week's video was filmed in a rush it was actually i think one of the most enjoyable videos i've filmed for you guys i don't want to take too much of your time and leave you right here please make sure that you click on that subscribe button down below like comment share and i'll see you in my next video bye guys